thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with Lesson 18. Whosoever shall do the will of my Father of International Esoteric and Illumined Bible Lessons by R. Swinburne Clymer. International Illumined Bible Lessons prepared for the Sunday Schools of the Church of Divine Illumination. Matthew 13th chapter 43rd verse to close. Golden text. Whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. The description of the persistency of the unclean spirit is true and plain in this lesson. We may have but one deplorable sin, and when we succeed in casting it out, it will make every effort to return. When it fails in gaining its former place, it will draw all spirits or thoughts in harmony with it and will come with added strength and zeal to gain entrance within the mind and soul. It is seductive and subtle, and the man who makes an effort to attain perfection must be always on guard against the subtle temptations of the divers spirits. Verse 43. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and findeth none. The evil spirit is the restless, lonely spirit. Good spirits bring peace and rest, even though the world is troubled and we have many problems and cares of the world. Do not mistake the word spirit here. We do not mean the disembodied spirits, but mean the spirit of thought which dwells every day within us. Verse 44, Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came. And whence he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. The house is clean, is purified, but he has gained his former hold by being able to effect an entrance into the thoughts of the mind. This is the mind drifting back into the channels of old, sensual, greedy and wicked desires, even for an instance of time. Verse 45, And he goeth out, and taketh within himself, seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last end of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be unto the wicked generation. This is a warning against the subtlety of the spirits we allow to creep into our minds and souls. For instance, a man has been unclean to a certain extent, and he makes up his mind to turn away from his condition. We all know by experience how the thoughts and desires to do the wrong thing we have done will come back to us time and again, and always with a different excuse. If we allow this desire or thought to dwell within us for a time, it has gained an entrance. Then it accumulates others, perhaps not quite the same, but in harmony with it, and we are weakened. Then it brings its partners with it, and the last state is worse than the first. It may be the love of drink and the turning away from it, with the result that another and worse habit is formed. Do not, when turning from evil, allow another and seemingly lesser evil to tempt you. It is the same old spirit of desire, appearing in a different gaze to deceive you. There is but one way if you desire to free yourself from any bad habit. First, seek something good that you desire, some work that you desire to accomplish. Then turn the thoughts and desires from the evil and use them for the accomplishment of the good. Verse 46, While he talked to the people, behold his mother and brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Verse 47, Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak unto thee. Verse 48, But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? Verse 48, For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother, my sister, and mother. It has been claimed that Jesus disowned his mother and brethren on this occasion, but this is not the truth. Far from it. In speaking to the multitudes and in teaching the disciples, Jesus does not refer to himself as the flesh, but as the Christ within him. 
His mother believed in him and knew the Christ, for she conceived the Christ and gave him birth. She remembered his words and, pondering them in her heart, she was not only the mother of Jesus, but also of the Christ. Christ is always born of a pure mind or virgin soul. And whosoever shall do the will of the Father in heaven may become the mother of Christ, or the brother, or the sister. But the mother is the nearer, for she is the soul of the Most High and gives birth to his seed. Those who desire him, as they came desiring even to speak to him, may become as near to him as they desire. And the Christ will acknowledge you in the way as he acknowledged all those who did the will of the Father then. He will stretch forth his hand, say, Behold my mother and brethren. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.